According to one person, I ought to consider this. Jesus assumed the best in parents when he said, Would you give your son a serpent if he asked for a fish? The SB community is assuming that parents do not love their children when they try to help them learn how to speak expressively, rather than seeing the love in that teaching they assume something else. Jesus in Mark 6.34, upon seeing people in the wilderness a sheep without a shepherd, had compassion for them and was followed by teaching. Yep, okay, you could teach them. Yes, that's well and good. That's the way I want to do, but to paraphrase, if your child told you she was, uh, she or he was hurting in a way that was strange to you, would you make the communicative behavior extinct or remove the negative stimulus? The behavior would technically be considered adaptive if it weren't pathologized. I should know it helps me. As such, I do not want to remove it. Contrary to popular opinion, I do want my kids to be able to speak and communicate. I do want them to be able to transcend the barrier of aloneness that severs neurotypicals and others from, you know, us alone people. My goal is to make it so that every single human is in a book like the DSM, except it's more of a catalog of human brains than what's wrong with human brains, some human brains, catalog of all human brains. My goal is to make it so that my own kind, all neurodiverse people, don't have to suffer for being a unique human being in their own way in whatever manner I could be meaning that. I want my children, indeed all my neuro cousins, to be thought of as being capable of learning to non-verbally communicate. I want them to be understood so that they can develop the best of relationships possible, as they deserve. No one deserves to be the poor man at the host's footstool. That would be what I want, okay? Don't stereotype anyone because of who they attempt to chill with. I'm a unique human being. So are you. Apply it. You guys are wondering, wonderful about having a, a concrete theory in mind, but it's not very fluid. It's not helping you guys out. You don't know how to apply it. You have some comprehension, but you don't have the application. That's that's like the reverse of me and my math. I don't really understand how I do it, but I manage to do it. Come on. You can do much, much better. 